Hi, this is Rachel from the Dotting Center. We're going to add a new painted egg to our collection today. It's a little less like Fabergé and a little more like Cadbury. Somewhere in between. In today's video, we'll paint this fudge sprinkle waffle cone egg. We'll use fluid and heavy body acrylic paints as well as different mediums to enhance the texture of the fudge and the waffle cone pattern. For tools, it's simple. You just need silicone tools and small dotting rods. Those are available at the Dotting Center and the links for those as well as all the paints are listed in the description box below. Now let's make this thing. So much fun. So the first step, we're gonna paint the base coat of the waffle cone section down on the bottom half of the egg. You just wanna pick a toasty waffle cone shade of light brown. Now we're gonna add the base coat, which is the fudge section on the top. I like to use this folk art color shift. It's black flash, but it has little golden flecks in it, so it kind of looks like brown. And I added a little bit of gel, regular gel gloss medium to it so that it bulks it up. It just has a thicker quality to it. And you just squirt it on the very top of the egg and allow gravity to just kind of pull it down the sides. Now adding that gel gloss gives this fluid paint a medium body consistency so that when it dries, it will dry raised, it'll dry thicker. If you don't care if your fudge is thicker, then you don't need to add the gloss, it still looks cool. But once you have your paint applied, you wanna take your stylus tool and just guide that paint down the side of the egg. What you're doing here is just simulating drips. So you wanna make sure you have variation. Some are wide, some are really long. Some have like two drips incorporated into one. Just have fun with it and make it look as natural as you'd like. Now let that dry overnight, and that's what it looks like. Now we're gonna add some Liquitex Heavy Body mixed with Liquitex Pouring Medium. So this is the thickest paint you can get, but it has pouring medium in incorporated into it, so it allows it to smooth out, but it'll keep that thick, cherry-like um, height on the top. Now we're gonna add some sprinkles. So get your tiniest stylus tool and we're gonna add four gold dots in a cross pattern. And now we're going to add a dot in between all of those dots in gold. Now using the same tool, we're just gonna switch it up and make white dots in between each one of those gold dots. Now let's use the next stylus size up and we'll add royal blue sprinkles in between the gold and white. Now here what I'm doing is I'm applying them to the left of the white dot it's always in between the previous gold and white dots, but always to the left. And now we're gonna use pink using that same stylus tip and just go right in between the blue dots. Now using the next stylus tip up, we'll add green. And then switching the colors, we're gonna use yellow now. Now we're switching to our flat silicone tool and we're gonna make some flat straight sprinkles now. So using gold 
paint, we're just going to add one straight gold sprinkle underneath each one of those green dots. So the trick with this is you just want to add the tiniest bit of paint to the tip of your silicone tool. So just like a millimeter of paint right at the end. And then just like you would use a stylus tool, you just blot the paint directly onto the surface. Oh, look at that. It's already starting to look like a Sunday. Now we're going to add two little white dots underneath the gold dots. Now using our smallest clear dotting rod, we're just going to add a red dot underneath those two white dots all the way around. And now we're going to make those kind of look like flowers. We're going to add two little green leaves using our flat silicone tool. Just angle them at 45 degree angles right underneath the red dot and do that all the way around. Now we'll add a gold dot, just drop it down underneath that flat gold sprinkle in between the red flowers all the way around. And now using our pointed silicone tool, let's add tiny white dots around those gold dots. Just surround them in tiny white dots all the way around. Now we're going to switch to yellow and add a little yellow dot underneath those little red flowers and then fill it out with some pink dots on either side. So here, as I was placing these dots, these long sprinkles, I got a chunk on the end of my tool. That's not going to work. So I wiped it off. Now one thing that these flat silicone tools do really well is they place dots, but they also remove mess up dots. So that's kind of a, a bonus. Now what we're going to do is add yellow sprinkles on either side. And you just want to angle your tool in just like 10 degrees or so on both sides so that we're going to have like a fan, create like a little uh, fan that goes from gold to white on the ends. So for each color that you do, you just want to place your tool, just angle it about 10 degrees more so that it just fans out on the ends, just like that. And now we're going to place one large gold dot underneath each one of those fans that we just made. And don't you love that, the, the fudge paint, that, that uh, folk art black flash? It's just fancy enough, you know? It's got little tiny gold flecks in it. Okay, so here I noticed as I was making that um, dot line around that that gold dot. I ran out of dots. My dots got too tiny. I was using too small of a tool. So I switched 
that stylus end out for a, a larger stylus end. And what that allows me to do is extend my dot line out farther so that I could reach all the way around those gold dots. So now we're going to take those red dots and extend the red around those yellow dots. Just going, starting at the top and then connecting at the bottom. And as you draw your line out, the dots get smaller towards the bottom. And what you're going to find is you're going to run into drip sections where you run out of places to paint. And this is really, this is kind of fun because you have to imagine that pattern extending through wherever the, um, the drip shape is missing. Now, I'm not sure that that made any kind of sense, but you'll begin to see that as you create your dots, you just kind of have to go with the amount of background that you have. And now we're going to continue the colors using pink and just making arced lines all the way down. And you see here I have to jump across because that drip edge only gives me small distances and I have to span that. But this is a really fun little mental exercise. So for the ends of these drips, we're just going to continue these colors out and then finish right on the bottom with some gold. Okay, so now we're moving on to the waffle cone texture on the bottom of the egg. Now you want to mix up a tan color and you want the texture to be a little bit thicker than a fluid paint. So somewhere like medium body paint. What I did here was I used Liquitex heavy body paint and then I added some fluid paint and some pouring medium to thin it out. And what you do is you take your flat silicone tool, you load it up with this medium body paint, and you just make lines that are 45 degrees alternating, kind of like a, um, like a, a chain link fence, um, or like a waffle cone pattern. Oh yeah, that too, that works. And you just blot that line and alternate 45 degrees. And then you try and connect them all the way around. Now on the first egg that I did, I used regular DecoArt Americana fluid paint. And I did the same texture. And it dried, but it dried very flat. You can still see that there was a pattern there. So, um, but for this one, I wanted to try something a little different, just kind of pop that texture out a little bit more. So that's why I, I kind of made my own medium body paint. 
it's basically whatever texture you want. Um, you know, you would just use the paint with the right body um, to give you that lift, to give you that raised texture. So now I'm going in, everything is dry, and we're going to just add top dots. And I like white and gold for top dots for this one, so that's what I'm going to do here. And now to further accentuate the height of this texture, I'm just using a dry brush technique. So I've got a lighter shade of tan that's loaded onto my brush, which I then wiped on a towel just to give it just a little bit of paint on those bristles. And I'm just lightly brushing on top of the texture just to raise those bumps just a little bit more. Now we're gonna add two different varnishes. We're going to start with the waffle cone on the bottom and I'm using the Sienna Brown chalk because I want to add kind of a pigment to this matte, whoa, that's big. Okay, that's Liquitex matte varnish. Just gonna add a little bit of chalk bits into my matte varnish. Make sure you stir up your matte varnish. If you don't stir it up, it's just gonna look glossy. All of the, um, there's like little, bits of mattifying, you know, stuff in that varnish. And if you don't shake it up real good, it's not going to get into your, um, into your varnish. So you mix it up and then you apply it and see how it's just tinted. So it's going to settle into all the spaces that that texture um, provides. And then now on the top, we're gonna add a high gloss varnish because we want our, our fudge to be glossy and our waffle cone to be matte. And now for the final touch, we're just going to take some of that high gloss varnish and touch up the ends of each one of those drips and just make it extra shiny. So there it is. Another addition to our egg collection. I hope you guys liked this video. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun making these. I am moving on though. I think I've, I've hit all of the angles on this. But um, please let me know what you think. Drop me a comment down below. Hit like. Subscribe to my channel and come visit me over at the Dotting Center if you need any tools, supplies, or projects. Until next time, guys. Bye.